it's late. I'm starting to lose it, but I want to tell you where we're at. <clears throat> we did uh, outriggers today. We had to do some spare tire work and we took out some of the rub rail. So let's start with the rub rail. The front access panel for the easy loader that gets us into the hydraulics and into the electronics is going to be mounted to the front of this trailer. So the rub rail, as you've probably seen in some of the other videos, we had to remove a section of that. So we did that today. We also uh, made the outriggers, which were able to get us to just under 11 feet of span, which is good. I think with uh, 16 feet of reach and then at the end of that 660 pounds that this 300 mh has, we wanted to make sure that this tra trailer is going to be stable. A heavier class trucks like the 500 class and up may not need outriggers, probably don't need outriggers. But with trailers and with lighter duty trucks, if you're going to be using a loader this heavy, you definitely want something there to support the, your, uh, the, the deck while you're loading out at that distance. <clears throat> so we did those uh, using uh, some tube steel and we'll, we'll show that in the video. And we also had to take the spare tire off and uh, put it on the trailer. We, uh, somewhere I might, I punched a hole in the tire and, or whatever, it's flat. So I've got to get it repaired or replaced one or the other before we get rolling. So that's about what we managed to do on the day. And uh, the big win is I only lit myself on fire twice. So I'd say that's a bonus. In any case, let's get to some time lapse and some music and you can see at high speed what I did. <laughs> Cut these off with the 45 and ground them. Left the weld mostly intact. This one is fine. And while we were at it, we ground off the paint on there so we can, uh, on those supports, so we can weld the uh, outriggers onto them. And that is what we're about to start now. The outriggers are, as mentioned, two pieces of steel. And we will weld those together and that slides inside of that which is going to get a collar on the end for support just to make sure that the steel doesn't tear as it is under stress too shiny. Gotta paint that. Outriggers are done, giving us just under 11 feet of span now between the two of them. So that should be good. Still need a locking pin here to lock it when we are uh, either in, in lift mode or in travel mode so that they don't rattle out on you. And paint them, because, you know, that polished chrome kind of looks okay, but not really what we're after. Mm -hmm. 